Hey everyone, in today's how-to video, I'm gonna show you Google Duo. It's a video messaging app from Google. And what it does is it uses your data or Wi-Fi to make video or phone calls, and you could also send messages. So I'm gonna show you everything this app has to offer in this video. The nice thing about this app is that it doesn't use your mobile minutes to make phone calls, video or voice calls. Basically, the app has three things to offer. The first thing is just one-on-one -on -one calls. So you can make video calls or voice calls one-on-one. -on -one. You could also do group chats up to 12 people, including yourself, again, using video or using voice. And the third thing that it does is it lets you record messages in voice and in video and send it to other people. And recently they added notes too. So you could type out notes just like the one you see here and send that to other people. So those are the three main functions of it. I wanna walk you through exactly how those work. And then I wanna show you some bonus stuff in the settings that really make the app more enjoyable to use. Let's jump into the phone and take a look at Google Duo. The app is available for iOS, for Android, for tablets. You could even connect to it on duo.google.com on the web too on your desktop. But we'll jump into the mobile version in this video. Again, it's the same for Android and iOS. And I'll go ahead and open the app. And when you get into it for the first time, I reinstalled mine to show you, you have to give it the usual access to microphone, camera, and contacts, and notifications. So I give it all the access on the first page. Then you have to verify your phone number because it does send you a text message to verify your identity. So again, you do have to have a phone number associated with it that can receive SMS messages. And then you'll get into the homepage here where you could just press OK. Again, I'll walk you through sending video messages as well as making one-on-one -on -one and group calls. And this is basically the inside of the app. So let me show you two things that you need to know once you're on the homepage. If you slide down, you go to the screen where you could record video messages and voice messages and notes. You see those three options, voice, video, and notes. Those are the three options you have on this page. This page is not for making calls. It's for recording messages and sending those pre-recorded messages to someone else. So think about it like using your text message on your phone. So I'll show you this for a second, but basically it's very straightforward. You have your camera where you could rotate on the left so this will basically just flip the camera from the front facing to the one facing me. You have on the right side your photos. If you give it access to your photos, you could send photos that way. And then in the middle is just record. And as you press record, it's going to record the message. And as soon as you press stop, it's going to play it back. And as you press record, it's so going to you... record the message. And as soon as you press stop, it's going to play it back. So let me turn this video down. But here I could re-record if I don't like what I'm hearing or I could go ahead and press next. I could also add text and I could have a marker on top too if I wanted to add those options here. I'll show you those on the other page, but if I press next here, it's gonna pull up my contacts. I only added one on top to show you or my contacts that are on Google Duo or I could invite contacts, but we'll get into contacts in a second. So this is basically how you would send a message. Just select the person right here, put a check mark next to their name and then press send. It's that simple to send a video message. If you go to the voice option, it's the same thing. You press the microphone, record, and then send. And there's also the note option. Let me go over here. When you're in the notes, you could basically type out your note. Your note is here. And you could change the font on top. There's multiple options to choose from. And you could just use your two fingers to resize and rotate the font if you want to. And you could change the color of this page with the color palette option in the corner here. If you press it, it basically changes your background color here from all these options. So those are your options for the note. And you also have some marker options too. So if you wanted to draw something, you could go ahead and draw. And I could press undo and press next. And then again, I could go ahead and press send. It'll get the same contacts. I could select the person, they'll get the check mark. And I get the send option right in the middle of the page. And one more thing I'll show you here on the video tab, you have filters as well. So you could apply filters to the way the video is gonna record. And you have this cool effects tab too. So you could add some animation here on top of your video if you wanted to do that. Let me press X. And now I'm back to the homepage. So again, to get to that page, you just have to slide down and you get to this messaging. But remember, we talked about two other things the app has to offer. 
which is one-on-one -on -one calls and video calls with a group up to 12 people. So to get to that, you just slide up instead of down. So if I slide up, I'm going to basically be able to create a group. So here, if I just press create group, it's going to let me pick from anybody that's connected to Duo, including people I've invited on top. So on top, you wouldn't have anything if you haven't invited anyone on create a group. That's creating the group option, or you can make one-on-one -on -one calls. I'm going to show you a one-on-one -on -one call in a second, or you could go ahead and search or dial your contact. Basically, the way Google Duo is working is it's going to recognize people that are connected to Google Duo. Those are the people that are showing up here. Or if I slide all the way down, it has a different section called Invite to Duo, which are people not on Google Duo. And if you press invite, it will basically send them a text message to invite them. Again, I give it access to my contact. That's how it knows who has Google Duo and who I need to invite if I want to connect via Google Duo. Now, if they don't have Google Duo, I do have to invite them because the voice calls and the video calls, they all happen within Google Duo. So both people or the entire group has to have the app. They all take place in the app. You can't use Google Meet, for example, and talk to someone on Google Duo. They're separate apps. So again, back in the homepage. Now, let's say I wanted to just make a one-on-one -on -one call. I have already invited someone and you'll see everybody here. You could slide through their names when you're invited. You don't have to slide up to get to the entire context. So when I have someone here on my recent call, I'll connect to them by clicking their name and I'll come to this page where I could see who I'm talking to, their phone number here. I could send a heart right here too. Usually that's just in the center, but my main options are on the bottom again. I have voice call, I have video call, and I have the message icon. The message icon will take me back to that message page that I showed you in the very beginning. So I'm not going to do that here. We already went over. Let me go back. So I just press X back to the same page again. So here I would do a video call or I could do a voice call. I'm going to show you how the video call works. It's the same for making one-on-one -on -one calls or making group calls. And then I'll show you some useful settings again back in the home page. Now to make a call, I just got to press the video call. The voice call is pretty straightforward. So I'll show you the video call. There are some useful options there. And I have to wait for the other person to answer. Again, they could see what I'm doing here. Hey, and let me show you some of the options on the bottom. You could turn off your video. That's the camera icon here. Now they can't see me if I wanted to just be audio. I could turn off my audio if I wanted to just sit on mute and listen to a bigger group conversation. These options are also available for the group conversation. I could rotate my camera here. So now they could see what I'm seeing and I could rotate it back. The red one is obviously ending the call. But under the three dots here, there's some useful options. There's the low light mode that we set up in the settings. So I could turn that on or off here too. And there's the portrait mode, which blurs my background to just make things a little bit nicer. I could turn that on and off. And Bluetooth is a useful option if you want to connect to headphones and take the call that way. And I'm going to go ahead and hang up now in the center. I and it's going to ask me how the call quality was. That's going to show up every time. So I'll just give it a rating here. And that's pretty much it for the video call here. And again, you have voice call and messages here. Again, if you press voice call, it just dials this way. Or I could leave a voicemail. I'll just hang up before they answer. And those are all the options for one-on-one -on -one calls or the group calls up to 12 people inside of Google Duo. And back in the home page, you see those three dots right there on the top corner, press those. And I want to take you to the settings page right here. And here there's a couple of useful options that you need to know. There's the knock knock mode. Let me click that. Basically what happens if, if you have knock knock on and you call someone, they could see you before they answer. So they could see what you're up to and see your video if you're making video calls. So it's kind of useful for them to see that your environment so they could kind of decide if they want to take the video call at that moment or not. So, or you could turn this off if you don't want them to see you when you call and they'll see you after they answer. So that's up to you, but that's an option that's very useful to have. And then there's low light mode here, which you could just turn this on and it will do its best to make adjustments to your video to let people see you a little bit better. So that should be on. And if you have limited data usage or if you're in a slow Wi-Fi area, I recommend you turn on limit mobile data usage here. It will reduce the video quality, but it might be just better on your data again, if that's what you're worried about. So that's an option you could turn on and off. And then the rest is pretty straightforward. You could go ahead and delete your account for iOS and Android. There's a couple of different options like the Siri shortcuts here, but I wanted to show you those top three settings in this section.
I hope you found this how-to video useful. I post these type of videos on this channel every single day, so please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.